Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, today I wanted to do a step away from the news. Um, I had a video similar to this plan, but then, um, <coughs> let's say uh, Black Moon actually showed it. Oh wait, this is the wrong deck. Um, one second. Hey everyone, <coughs> my name's Silver, and welcome back to my deck profile of the day. So ladies and gentlemen, Black Moon did a video similar to this over on his channel. Go check it out. It was really good. Um, I was going to do that deck profile, but instead I've decided to do this one today. So this is one of my favorite builds I've seen thus far, and it's for Wolf Fang Liberator Garmore. It is a rush deck that I really love. So I'm going to show it to you. So we have four copies of the starter today, which is Night of Early Dawn Cole. <coughs> and his skill is GB1 Unite, put this unit to soul. And it's essentially a search engine. He's pretty good in Garmor and pretty good in Gurguit. Um, our triggers are pretty basic. We run four of the regular Liberator heal triggers, the uh, High Beast one, because the deck requires it to be High Beast themed. We run four Catch Call Liberators. Um, you guys know why he's broken. And I did use this deck, I believe, in our fight on our stream fight. So if you want to see it in action, go check it out there. But yeah, catch goal. Uh, put it to bottom of deck. And then search the top three for a unit not named him. Call it to rearguard. Put the rest to bottom of deck and shuffle. So we run four of him just to get columns. Uh, Gigantic Ringer is our nice plus engine. That's the only non-high beast trigger we're running today. And I run four Liberator Flogals for uh, Liberator counterblasting just in case it's ever needed but you could probably run the other stand the other high beast stand trigger which allows you to counterblast one send it to soul and search top deck for a gold a gold paladin unit and call it to rear that's not too bad <coughs> next moving on to our first grade one is horus um he's really good and i'm gonna review how this deck works <coughs> in a second so you got Horus, and he makes the deck pretty good. Um, he gives 2k to himself and anything else in the column when a unit's called from deck. He's extremely broken in, Gurg in Gurguit, and even more broken in Garmore, and you'll see why in a minute. We run four of our, of our Knights of Daybreak, Light, Good Luck. I, I don't remember its actual English name, but um, he's the Stridefather. And as you can probably see, we only run... Uh, four grade threes, so we need him. If we run anything else, it breaks the deck. <coughs> and guys, I did get this build from Nexus Core, so I can't take all the credit for this. I just really like Garmore. Moving on, we have only run two PGs. Um, not enough room for anything else. I believe this is all you need, really. I've tested this deck out several times, and I win most games with it, so... Moving on to our last grade one, we run Physical Force Liberator. Z Zoran skill when it's placed on rear from deck put it to soul if you do and you have a gold player paladin vanguard look at the top three cards from deck search for one among them with the liberating team call it to rear guard put the rest of the bottom in any order so it's pretty nice um it doesn't say it can't be him so if you chain all four of these in a row you're gonna really make the deck you're gonna really make one column powerful we run moving on to our grade threes liberator of oath agravel agravel um, a lot of people like this card back when I was in Legion. I don't see it much in the circuit anymore. Uh, it's kind of blast one when this is placed on rear. If you have a Vanguard with Liberator in its name, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up, up to three cards from among them. Choose one with Liberator in its name, call it to rear, put the rest at bottom in any order. <coughs> and guys, the next unit is the most broken of them all. It is Knight of Silence Galatine. Yep, Knight of Silence. That's all. So, moving along. It's a 10k vanilla. <coughs> and when you line it up with Horus or something else, it, it becomes powerful. But moving on to our main rear guard that you're going to want to protect at all costs is Bruna, Ber Bernius. His skill is when another unit's placed on rear from deck. If you have a Liberty Vanguard in, in its name, until end of turn, this unit gets 2k in auto. When this attack hits a Vanguard, choose a card from your damage zone. Turn it face up. <coughs> so this makes it extremely 
Oh, sorry. Ooh. Powerful in columns. And then we run uh, Garmore. We really don't use its skills, but I'll leave it up on screen for a second so you can read it. Pause the video if you want to continue. All right. Moving on into our G zone. We run four copies of the main unit. Uh, Golden Knight of Shining Fang Garmore. Uh, it's a gold paladin. We don't use its first skill, but its second skill is what we abuse. Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1. If you have a heart with Garmore, look at the top three cards from among them. Call one and put the rest to deck and shuffle. So it's not an it's an axe skill that doesn't have once per turn. So you can literally Counter Blast 5, Soul Blast 5, Call 5, Build Columns. Um, the next best card we have in the deck is um, Golden Dragon Glorious Rain Dragon, which is just called Counter Charge, Counter Blast. It's an okay card, but you should hardly ever use it. We also run one um, S Sunrise Radiant Sword Gurguit. I like that. And Scourge Point for when you're out of options. Also one Sea Breeze if your opponent's trying to grade stall. And then we run two Dismals because, again, your Burnius has been important to protect. And then Simi Flare because I like Simi Flare. Alright, so now I'm going to show you what the deck, what an optim optimal setup would be. So if you have that there, let's throw that into Soul. Let's throw. Let's do. Let's save. Say we rode Ham. <coughs> And we rode him, and then we rode that. We've called that last turn because that doesn't matter. That's in our hand. Let's put yeah. Let's put two of those in our hand. Let's put one of these in our hand. Let's put a horse in our hand. We'll put um. Yeah, we'll put that to hand. All right. Uh, and since you run a lot of those, you probably would have drawn that at some point. So let's shuffle up the deck. So this is what the... Oh, um, I forgot to give us damage. Let's say we've taken a stand trigger. Let's say we've taken a second stand trigger. Let's say we've taken a catch goal. Let's say we've taken a stride fodder. And let's say... Let's say this is the outcome of the match thus far. You've taken five damage and you're on your first stride. So what you're gonna do is obviously ride phase, drop stride fodder, two stride into this. Now you can do a lot of things from here. I mean, yes, technically I could just counter blast three, but it's not bad to filter out. So on your, what you wanna do first is call Horus, because <coughs> that will be the most beneficial. And then you can call Oath. Activate Oath skill, Counter Blast 1. Um, you may pay the cost if you do. Look at the top three for a Liberator. And then call it to rear. So we're just going to draw the first three. And already right there. Catch goal. So these go back to deck. And you don't shuffle. So this get this column already gained he already starts gaining 4k <coughs> and he gains two and then you send catch to bottom of deck to look at the top three call a unit not named him honestly we can just call that because we want to leave that as many of those in the deck as possible we shuffle give another 4k this column and two off Bernie's so then you can activate his skill which is send a soul look at the top three and um, what is it close for a second look at the top three call one to rear guard and give it 2k so to soul with him top three and then we can just call him and we put the rest to deck Yep. Two back, two back, and we shuffle. Give another 4K here. I 
mean, if you wanted to be technical at this point, you could also um, call over this oath, counterblast, search the top three for another liberator. We call over the rest to back. Give 4K. Give 2K. His skill to a um, mini shuffle deck, right? Yeah. Just make sure we shuffled. Then we put this to back a deck. Look at the top three again. Call a you call a unit from among them. You call a secondary Horus. Put these to deck and shuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. And is one another unit? One of your other units. Yep, so this column again gets another power up. And then we activate its skill by sending it to soul. We look at the top three. Call a unit from among them. Does this have to be? So this unit will give us another loop with no counter blasts. So two back a deck, two back a deck, and we shuffle. When this is placed on rear, well, we don't want to forget our power ups. Boop. Uh, boop. And I forgot to add the power up here. <coughs> so we send this to back of we send this to soul search their deck for um a liberator call to rear so to soul top three for a liberator and there it is put the rest to deck bottom in any order this brings us up to twenty eight thousand this brings us up to fourteen And this brings us up to six. And you send this to back a deck, look at three, call any unit from among them. And if you really wanted to start building columns, you put that there. These go to back a deck. I know I could have called another Oath Liberator, but we leave it in there for later. And the only reason why I'm not giving the front row power is because um, it's not going to be there for very long. And you'll see why. And then 16 with you. <coughs> so now we can call over that with him. Send it to Soul. Top three for a unit can call I mean any honestly anything so let's say we call the gigantic ringer and that's going to go to deck to deck and we shuffle so like I said it's, he's probably not going to matter too long but we can give the vanguard 2k and give him another 2k and give him another 2k we can give this guy another four. So then we start activating Garmore skill, which is you go into soul, you soul blast one, counter blast one, look at the top three, call one card from among them, and put the rest to the bottom of the deck and shuffle. So one, two, three. <coughs> and honestly, um,. This is a skill you're going to spam, so I'd say call over this horse right here. Now, um, yeah, this is sort of, again, this is a random, so realistically, I'd probably call over this just to give power. Yes, I'm losing on draw engine, but that happens. And these need to go back to deck. A 
but everything does now just infinitesimally increase as time goes on and it just becomes a very broken deck if you can't tell by just raw power and then we activate Garmore skill once more look at three call one which we just keep calling this guy rest to deck and nope we give 2k here we give 4k here we give 2k here we give 2k here skill move it to soul three for a liberator and this is where you either I mean at this point might as well continue the looping right give this another 16k Give you up to eight plus. <coughs> Give you forty eight thousand. Give you twenty four. Look at the top three for one last liberator. And look at that, you get the catch goal, which means you call over. These go to deck. You shuffle, not that I can remember at this point if you were supposed to or not, but hey. So now at this point your vanguard's 10,000 plus. Your front row is just immensely broken. Of course your opponent's gonna PG, but I'll go through the steps of battle as well, just cause I wanna show this off in a full demonstration. And after this, I think we're basically good. Yeah, you just call Galatine at that point. Two back, two back, and shuffle. So you give 20k here. You give 2k here. You give 2k here. We will add in the additional 12 that this guy has been missing since we've called him. <coughs> We'll add in the 2k here, and then we'll add in the 4k here, which brings us up to 56,000 additional. So yeah, this is what your columns looks like, and this is what the battle phase looks like. So you swing with this column first. Give it a second to add up. So that's 100k plus coming in at your vanguard. Now you can swing with either this column and I mean you can look through you got one two three three oh well the the app crashed yeah there you were getting a lot of power dealt to you I don't know why the app crashed but hey there were there was a lot going on so whoop oh, okay well the app crashed again so guys I think that will end it off here you can obviously see the devastating power of this application and what it can really do if you guys want the full deck list will be down below in the description again I'm really sorry about that guys but until next time I will see you all later